So now we need to work at the particles. So uh, we can work with a, uh, a particle flow system. So uh, we can add a PF source. We start with this one. And we, we can have, uh, let's scale the window there for particle flow and we can move a little bit there okay so uh, that's the first one and let's rename it and we call it pf1 just to have a different way of naming and we say that the particles will uh, start at maybe 10 and this particles will be emitted just on the frame 12 let's say 250 the position icon will be uh, instead a position object and the object will be our mountain uh, the interesting thing is that I like to emit the particles just on some area so let's go to pick this one and I need a poly select and we say that we are going to uh, let's go to have uh, this kind of selection without big phasing and we go to have uh, particles emitted on this area okay let's remove on the top this faces nice so we have just this area okay back in the particle system we see that we'll use just the selected faces and if we go to see you see that there we have particles falling down so we see to change the speed and let's say that we have a reverse so now if we go to C you see that we have particles flying away there uh, let's say that we have 100 for the speed and a lot of variation so 75 um, let's use dots or maybe actually we can go for lines and uh, we'll have a little bit of divergence let's say 35 so actually you see we have these particles flying away in this way okay nice uh, we say to emit the particles just on some place so in the position object we say distance point and let's see if 10 can be okay let's say maybe 20 okay so we have more points where the particles are emitted okay nice perfect so uh, if the uh, location is not valid we can delete the particles so we are sure that everything is working in the right way I say uh, so we have the uh, the speed and then we have the uh, uh, the particles going up but I like to, for the moment, let's remove the rotation. But I like to say that the particles will fall down. So we need a gravity. And then we can put a force. And the force will be the gravity. And let's see what happened. Okay, let's say to have a little bit less force, so maybe 600 can be enough. And let's change the color to have something more visible. Okay, we have the particles falling down. Uh, then I like to have uh, a rotation, but we set as speed space follow so 
the particles will rotate following the uh, way, uh, the direction they have. Um, for the moment, we don't need to have a spin. We can go without spin, so we have no other rotation. And I like to have a little bit of drag too. And uh, um, we can go to add a drag force inside the scene. And this one will be useful to have a little bit of tracking simulation. So track, we can leave the basic parameters. And then again inside the particles, we add another force. So we have the possibility to decide the intensity uh, just for the drag. Let's go to see what happened. Uh, you see, we can have a little bit more influence so you see it is moving in this way okay nice um uh, we have some forces and i like to do it really simple so we'll have no more chaos inside the animation but i like to have uh, a spawning to have more particles so Let's go to have a spawn event. And this one will be set as by travel. So let's go by travel distance. Let's start with an I value. And let's see what happened. Okay, you see that the particles are starting to create secondary particles. Let's say that the speed is 65%, so it is going in a different way, and we have 25% variation, and we have no divergence, or maybe we can have just a little bit of divergence. And let's say that some particles are spawnable and some particles are not spawnable. So actually, we have something like that. We can have a little bit of speed, more speed at the beginning. And we can say that we have less particles. And let's go for dots or maybe uh, let's go for something more visible. Let's see what happened. Okay. I like to have more speed and let's say 150 okay now maybe it is a little bit too much so let's go for 180 sorry 180 150 and let's say 120 Okay. Uh, the particles needs to die, so we go for uh, delete, and the delete will be after a while. So let's try eight frame with two frame of variation, and let's see what happened. Maybe we can go lower. So let's go to C, we have the particles flying and then they are there and then they can die and if we have uh, the restart particle age and then we use a copy of this one we can connect also the spawned particles so we'll have the particles flying but we can do it later. I prefer to have more control there. So let's disconnect this one. And let's recheck with the dots. And let's uh, remove the restart particle age. Okay, uh, we can go back to have, uh, let's say 
Um, that's uh, that's it's not so visible. So let's try again with the tricks. We have particles flying away. It's too low for the delayed. Let's go for maybe eight and two. Okay, maybe we can have a little bit more. You see, I'm just trying to have the particles. Oh, okay, uh, it should work. Okay, so we have this particles generating uh, some dust. And to do something different, we can have another particle system working in the same way, but different value. Uh, so let's delete this one. Then we can copy this one with the right mouse button and then paste. That's another particle system. This one can be renamed as two. So we'll use maybe just some different framing. So this one will start at 11. Um, we'll have maybe uh, some different value for the position. So we'll have, let's say that there we have just 10 and we have a new seed. So we have particles moving in a different way. And talking about the speed, we can have a different speed. So in this case, for example, the second one can be a little bit slower. So we can go there and say, for example, 100 with uh, 75 for the differences. And then we can have all the other parameters can stay the same, but maybe we can have a little bit more tracking. So for example, let's go for uh, 4,000 and we can see maybe to change something uh, over this pawn there. Uh, so maybe we can have just a step size, a different step size. So let's try with four, uh, but maybe we can go uh, generally with a lower value. So there we can stay with two and there we can stay with maybe uh, 1.5. So let's see what happened. We have the particles flying away and then we have the, plus the particles dying. Okay, and talking about the life, the other particles can stay uh, with a lower value for the life. Okay, so they will die before. Let's go back and we can save. And then we can do another copy. Uh, it will have uh, a different timing too. So copy, paste, uh, then we can move it. And this one will be renamed. And this will be third. Okay, uh, the timing, this will be uh, different. And we can have maybe less particles for the first one. Uh, let's say more particles for this one and maybe we can have a little bit less particles for this one so we have another uh, timing and we can have different value for the burning uh, so we'll have a new uniqueness and there we'll have a little bit more and talking about the speed uh, the speed you will be uh, different and it will be just a little bit more so 75 and maybe 85 and we'll have uh, a random speed and maybe we can add a random speed also there so we'll have a different way and this one can have a lower value too for the life and talking about the spawning we can have maybe just a little bit less uh, step sides and it will be something more about the divergence. So let's set to off to see just the third one. So you see it's working in this way. 
let's see with the number two set to on two and let's see with the number one so we have some particles flying away and some particles going up okay so save and we have the particle setup so now we can start playing a little bit with uh, film effects to start understanding if everything is going uh, in the right way or we need to do something more.